Hey guys, so here's what I didn't learn in seminary. So today, I just got back from running some errands. I had to go get a lamp for an outside light at church and install it. One of the many things they didn't tell me I was going to have to do as a pastor when I went to seminary. That's not the only thing, right? I mean, I've as a small church, small congregation pastor, you do so much more. You, the, you know, there's, there's no such thing as that's not my job. Just not. And I think that's what I love about being a small church pastor. I love having the, having the time to do it. I love interacting with the people in those ways. You know, the whole thing when at seminary when they teach you about, you know, a 20-hour 20, 20 sermon prep during the week, it's not going to happen. Not for the small church man, because he's buying bulbs for the outside light. He's fixing the plumbing. He's sweeping the floor if he has to. He's cleaning up water damage. Just whatever it might be. You know, he's in there with the with the uh, furnace guy when he's repairing the furnace. He's doing all that stuff. And besides that, he may be a bivocational man. And if he is, he didn't have 20 plus hours a week to dedicate to sermon prep. That's wonderful if you have that. But if you have that, you're not in a small church. You're not doing that kind of work. And I, I think it just takes a different mentality. It takes a little bit of different humor for a, for a small church pastor. Guys that decide that they ought to be in a mega church right away, you know, they're going to have trouble in a small church because it's, it's small everything. You know, it's small volunteer base. It's no staff probably or small staff. And you know, it's a small congregation, and um, and so it's just, it takes a whole different heart set. It takes a whole different skill set to do that kind of work. And those guys, uh, in our culture today, that is often downplayed because people look at that and they say, well, you ought to, you ought to be baptizing at least 25 people a year, and you ought to be doing this every month, and, you know, all this, all this evangelism talk that doesn't go anywhere. One of the things that just really kind of um, always bothers me is when they tell me that I need to train more volunteers. And my question is always, well, who am I going to train? I've only got so many people. You know, when you have 30 people show up for worship on Sunday and half of those are one-time comers, then you don't have a great big bunch of people. And the people that do come and are regular you know what? They're already working. They've already got two and three other things they're doing. So I don't have a huge volunteer base. So don't tell me I need to go train more volunteers. I become the volunteer that has to do the job as a pastor, which is okay. You know, it's just fine. And I'm not disturbed when I don't have great numbers and huge baptismal records and all the rest, because that's the Lord's job. My job is to be faithful. And in a small church, that's what it takes. It takes faithfulness. So if you're watching this and you're a small church pastor, you're my hero. I know what you're going through. And don't, don't let all the voices get you down. All the voices telling you that you should be in a big church, that your church should be bigger, that it should be booming and breaking through the walls and all that stuff, telling you that you need to baptize so many people every year and every month and all that. No, you, you just keep preaching the gospel and you keep loving your people and you keep doing what you have to do. Because God has gifted you for that thing. Otherwise, you would not be there. Hey, listen, I'm about to run out of time. I wanted to remind you guys, or tell you, not remind you, but tell you that this weekend, Lord willing now, the Lord willing, I'm going to have a sale on uh, having been led. And um, small does not mean struggling and Christianity of the life. I'm going to put all those on sale for zero dollars. So you can go out and get you a free copy either for the Kindle or a print copy. And that's going to be this weekend. Today is the 14th of February. I'm going to run it today, tomorrow, and Sunday. And Monday, since Monday's sort of a holiday, so that'll be through Monday the 16th, which I think is President's Day. Is that the 16th? The 17th, President's Day. So, listen to some Daily Dose Radio. Go out and get a copy of one of those books, and I'll see you again back here on Monday.